He had the shock of his life when he got diagnosed with prostate cancer at the age of 37. Jude, not his real name, is disappointed in the lack of awareness on the disease in the country, as well as the lack of national policy to subsidize treatment costs for patients. He shared his survival story with my colleague, Sarah Pencrow. Jude was only 37 when he was diagnosed with prostate cancer two years ago. If it weren't for his habit of routine checkups, he would not have discovered his condition. His diagnosis left him in a state of disbelief, as many questions ran through his mind as a young man in his 30s. Prior to his diagnosis, he had little knowledge about the condition, which he believed would have helped him notice the symptoms. In 2022, I did another test, and this time round, the figure had jumped from 11 to 22. Yet again, I did not panic because I did not really know what it meant. The biopsy was taken. Uh, I had to wait for two weeks to get the results. It was a very uncomfortable two weeks for me, and it could be for anybody waiting for the results. So I remember very well, I was in the meeting that time when I had the, uh, the results sent to me. I went through it, and even though I was not a doctor, I knew, nah, this is not good. So I closed the meeting, went back to my office, went on Google, started typing in the, what I was seeing, the terminologies and then everything. And it was quite clear that it was, it was hard prostate. Jude's case is not exceptional. Many Ghanaian men are suffering in silence, unaware of the dangers of prostate cancer, or perhaps too afraid to seek help due to the financial commitments involved. It has been a year and a half since his treatment, but it has not come without breaking the bank. Just a surgery without all the other medication was going to cause in excess of 70,000 cities. The insurance were, they were generous enough to take a part of it, uh, but majority of it came in from the company I was working with and some support for myself as well. So yes, it is true question is that how many, how many individuals will be able to afford 70,000 for for treatment. Government intervention was zero, but question that should it be put on the NHIS completely, yes. Despite the disturbing situation, there seems to be little awareness of the disease in the country. Today, I think a lot of men are dying. A lot of young guys are carrying it and they are not aware of it. Unfortunately, by the time they will realize that it will be too late, there will be nothing. Something can be done, but it may probably be early. Early detection in every kind of condition, ailment, is the best. You know, question is that, are we pushing for early detection among younger men and even older men? Are we? I don't think, I don't think the answer is a yes. It's a complete no. Prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths among men in Ghana, with one out of every three men aged 40 and above being at risk. Data also suggests that only 20% of men over 40 have had a prostate cancer screening, while 60% of cases are often presented at advanced stages. The whole country is linked. So if you cannot unite well anywhere in a village, you can go to a chief's compound. There are nurses there. They will evaluate you and refer you to the district or regional hospital. The biopsy cannot be done in chief's compound because the decision to take the biopsy is a major one. So for us, if you go to the chief's compound and describe your symptoms, the nurses can refer you to the district hospital, to the regional hospitals, and to the teaching hospitals. In 2022, Ghana recorded 27,000 new cancer cases, out of which more than 2,300 were prostate cancer. Sarah Apenkru, TV3 News, Accra.